So there is another question here. And in this question, the maximum and minimum distance of a comet from the sun are given respectively. So the speed of the comet at nearest point is 6 into 10 raised to 4 meter per second. Find the speed at the far farthest point. So in this question, you can simply conserve the uh, momentum. And that will give you, if there is an angular momentum, of course, not the linear momentum. So if the sun is here, so you can take the nearest point uh, here, the farthest point like this. Let me call this distance as A1. This is A1. And you can call this as A2, the farthest distance. Uh, let us say this velocity is P2. This velocity is P1. If mass of the planet here is M, that will not change. That will still be the same. So you can write the angular momentum L is equal to M A1 V1. That will be equal to M A2 V2. M will get cancelled out because angular momentum will be conserved. It's a, a two mass system. And the forces are central forces. There are no net external forces. So I can write A1 V1 equals to A2 V2. What I need to find is the speed at the farthest point. That is the value of V2. So V2 can be written as A1 by A2 into V1. So A1 is the closest distance. Minimum distance is H.0 into 10 raised to 10 meter. The farthest distance, that would be 1.6 into 10 raised to 12 meter. And the speed V1, that is the, the speed will be the uh, when the planet is at the, the comet is at the minimum distance. The value is 6 into 10 raised to 4 meter per second. Now let's solve this. This will give me 100. This will give me a 0.2. So that will be 6 into 10 raised to 4, 20, 6, 60,000 by 20. That is 3,000 meter per second. So 3.0 into 10 raised to 3 meter per second. The number of significant figures is 2. So that will be our second option. So in this question, the main concept was principle of conservation of angular momentum. Principle of conservation of angular momentum. 